Okay, uh, still on operation security, still on assets, but uh, moving on from people, well, uh, still a little bit of reference, because as uh, happened in talking about personnel, um, the uh, we've been referring back to domains that we've covered, topics that we have covered. And um, as well as being, uh, you know, sort of a catch-all, operations uh, sort of starts to tie an awful lot of these domains together. And so we will be referring back to uh, topics that we have already covered. Um, so in a sense, you know, we've got a bit of review, uh, but also the... Um, uh, amalgamation of security um, the different parts have to fit together as a whole as I uh, said in in terms of management right off the top um, so and, and operations is definitely one of the areas where all of this comes together so um, we have sensitive and critical resources that we need to protect. And we have talked about this um, in terms of risk management. We have talked about this in terms of business continuity planning. Uh, we have talked about this in terms of access control, in terms of compartmentalizing uh, certain resources. And so we've got... Um, we have uh, especially sensitive or critical files. Um, uh, most of the time we're talking about data. Uh, our, our customer files, uh, information that we have on our customers. And uh, it's not just, you know, if, if we lose that, it's going to take us a while to... Uh, number one, rebuild those uh, files, and number two, regain uh, trust of people when we tell them that we've forgotten who they are. But uh, these days, of course, the liability that we have for um, uh, failing to deal uh, effectively with private and confidential information. So have we protected uh, our customers' information? properly, um, most effectively, as, as we should. So, um, but also uh, files in terms of uh, our research, our uh, trade secrets, our um, information that we have built up over conducting business uh, as an enterprise for many years in a particular field. So, um, you know, lots of different areas of, you know, files that are important to us and how do we protect them. Programs of uh, different types. Now, some, some of the programs we have developed and, uh, again, uh, potentially trade secrets are embedded in our uh, applications that we have developed ourselves. Or just simply um, the applications, the programs that we have purchased from other people, which are, uh, you know, valuable, have a cost to replace, um, but also any um, modifications that we have made and, and ensuring that improper modifications are not made, uh, protecting the integrity of the applications uh, that we have uh, purchased. Uh, system utilities. Um, again, you know, the operating system itself uh, may contain a number of utilities. There are also ancillary utilities that we have added into our system. Um, again, uh, these are tools. They are important to us. Um, they provide us with functionality. Uh, there may be a cost to replacing it. Uh, once again, some of the utilities we may have created ourselves. And, as mentioned with regard to application, the, um, uh, the need to protect 
that to uh, ensure that there aren't untoward modifications and amendments being made there. Uh, in terms of our, our systems, we have systems logs, and we've talked again about uh, systems logs and, you know, what do we uh, have to look at in terms of the systems logs? Are we paying attention to them? Are we reviewing them? Are we reviewing the output of the uh, utilities that we have that uh, report to us? And, you know, are we uh, certain that we are getting all of the uh, alarms, alerts, reports uh, that we may need to take action on and, and that we should uh, be dealing with? Uh, so are they uh, uh, operating, functioning properly? But in addition, of course, um, there are... Uh, you know, intruders, attackers, who um, are going to try and mess with our logs to cover their tracks to ensure that we can't tell that they have, in fact, uh, been messing in our systems. So we've got to, um, we've got to protect the integrity um, and, and the availability. Uh, of our logs, uh, as well as everything else mentioned. Uh, violation reports. Um, now, uh, the violation reports can be warning us of an impending attack. Uh, they can, equally, um, be pointing out errors with our own training in terms of uh, procedures not being followed. Um, so we uh, need to look at them for a number of reasons and in a number of ways um, for various purposes. <laughs> and uh, first of all, we have to look at them. You know, it's, it does us no good to have all of these logs just sitting there uh, unexamined, unreviewed by anything. Um, we talked about backup files. Um, particularly in regard to business continuity. Um, and again, I believe that I mentioned there, and I should have if I didn't, uh, the importance of protecting your backup files. Um, if we have uh, sensitive or confidential information on those backups, the backups should be encrypted. Um, where do we keep our backups? Are, are they on site? Uh, are they available to us? Are they off site? So that if our facility burns down, uh, we've still got some backups. Uh, you know, all of these considerations. Again, we've talked about this before, and this is kind of uh, the uh, uh, review, but also, you know, uh, looking at these these individual pieces that we have talked about before in terms of keeping all that we need, all the assets that we have that we uh, require in our normal operations uh, and making sure that they are okay and available to us. Um, sensitive forms and printouts, something that people uh, don't think about, you know, the um, even the forms. I, I recently had a, um, a security uh, uh, clearance sort of uh, process going on. And um, as a part of that, uh, somebody gave me um, an extra copy of the paper. Now, of course, I only used one. And uh, he uh, reminded me to make sure and shred the uh, additional form that I didn't use. Um, you know, sometimes people feel that just simply having the form um, is important, uh, can be used to mount some kind of an attack. So, yes, um, sensitive forms and, and printouts are, are something, you know, even if it doesn't contain what we tend to think of as data, uh, you know, maybe it can be used 
in some nefarious fashion. So we need to protect those things as well.